Aloha, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. It is my honor to be with you here today. Today is Monday, the 26th of December, 2016. And today is day eight of a 21-day program that we are working on as a group to help assist our self-healing <clears throat> by serving others. For those of you that uh, are just watching this for the first time, I encourage you to continue to stay and continue to come back for these remaining days. A lot of the wisdom, teachings, and blessings that occur through this one-hour live stream that I offer on Monday through Friday every day of, of the week <clears throat> brings a great deal of healing to many uh, students. And there are many hundreds, actually, that uh, comment of the value of the wisdom and teachings that Dr. and Master Shah has brought, which is heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. All that I am applying today to assist you is how to bring healing to your environment. If you have blockages in your finances, in your relationship, in your health, uh, if you have blockages in business, uh, communication issues with the parents, the spouse, the children, financial issues, doesn't really matter what it is. They all have a root. And according to my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, that root is karmic. That root stays with our soul. Our soul carries forth all of our excellent experiences, our good deeds, and it carries forth all of our not so good ones. <clears throat> and the not so good ones tend to come to us and create suffering in our life. And what I have been working with this last uh, eight days and what I'll be working with the entire time that I offer any teaching wisdom and blessings, including the entirety of this 21 day program is how that we can self heal. And so I encourage you, if it is your first time watching this to stay and receive the benefits. As my teacher would say, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, then you must taste it. But how could you figure that out unless you do so? So please stay. So I want to acknowledge all those that have joined me. Uh, so welcome, uh, Jyota, coming in from Australia. Welcome, Janine Tillman. Great to see you, Janine. <coughs> Master Janine, excuse me. Uh, welcome, CJ. Welcome, Nikki. Welcome, Patrice. Aloha, Elona. Welcome, Dana. Uh, Kristen Rojas, good to see you, Kristen. Welcome, Shari. And welcome, Camille. Aloha, Patricia. Haven't seen you here in a while. Good to see you. Welcome, Stephanie. And welcome, Yvonne has just joined us, and Linda as well. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late. I was heating up my tea. You might notice I'm wearing a, um, a lei. This is a ginger lei. I wish you could smell it. They haven't invented smell-o-vision yet. <coughs> this was given to me by uh, a friend for the uh, holiday, and so I thought I would wear it today as a, yeah, just as a way to bless everybody. So, and I know that in Hawaii, each lei has a specific significance. The colors, the way it's made, um, the message behind it, they all have a significance. Some are celebratory, some are for relationship. There's all kinds of different reasons. What this one means, I don't know. But <clears throat> nevertheless, happy to be wearing it. So, um, welcome, Linda. Welcome, Tammy Hunter. Welcome, Hailun. So today, as indicated, we'll be focusing on bringing healing to yourself by serving others. And in this last eight days, uh, assuming you have been doing your homework, then we have been doing the forgiveness practice twice a day, and we have been chanting love, peace, and harmony uh, 15 minutes twice a day. And the service, however, is the key. When we chant, we chant to serve others. <clears throat> so all those that are have been coming, uh, this last week, please let me know how things are going for you. First of all, did you do your homework Saturday and Sunday? Did you do your forgiveness practice? Did you chant? If you didn't, then do your forgiveness practice about not doing this for yourself. Okay. Um, but let me know how things are going as we move into day eight. I want to know what kind of processes you've been going through. How has your, what we call purification been? And have you noticed any aha, aha moments, things that have been assisting you with um, moving through and past some of the blockages in your life? 
as you know this is the holiday season and uh, a lot of folks have been going through significant emotional blockages during this time and with this practice <clears throat> it can assist you a lot some folks may have chosen to use this 21 days for releasing blockages associated with a physical pain or suffering uh, some may have chosen it for an emotional or relationship based blockage everyone has a a different need at this time and so my encouragement as it is today <clears throat> is for everyone to stay with the same um, intention and when we chant and we chant to serve others we chant with that same intention okay so please uh, share this last uh, weekend <clears throat> Christmas Eve and Christmas I enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself. It was, it was simple. Um, it was my wife and my third Christmas. And uh, they've been getting each one a little bit better than the previous one. <clears throat> um, it's been nice actually to connect with a lot of the, the people I don't get to talk to very much. One of those things that happens around the Christmas time of year, you connect with some of the relatives. And so it's been enjoyable in many different ways. So today uh, I'm going to go ahead and call in all of the holy beings. We're going to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward. <clears throat> and uh, as always, I'll be following the gui divine guidance as to what the steps are. Thank you to all of those, Stephanie, Patricia, <clears throat> and Kristen for sharing this. And for all of you that, that might wish to have other people know about this, please hit your share button and let other people know that, hey, uh, opportunity to receive self-healing. And um, we never know when we can save somebody's life. Uh, by sharing something uh, that can bring healing to them, okay? So let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, which is much like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. <clears throat> dear all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source, dear Master Shah, dear all beings serving the plan of the light side, dear all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, Mother Mary, dear beloved Namo Amitofu, Kuan Yin, Da Shurjur, Pu Sa, <clears throat> dear beloved Krishna, Ganesha, all masters, healing angels, archangels, Lama Sifus, Gurus, Kahunas, <clears throat> dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you, we honor you, appreciate you. And I am bow down to you. I ask at this time that you please come to please go to all of those watching at this time. Come to sit in their heart centers. Bless us to awaken to our soul's journey. Bless us to align to our soul's intention and calling. Bless us to release the blockages that we most need to release. Bless us to understand the oneness of humanity and all souls. <coughs> and help us to really understand at the deepest levels that by serving others, we are serving our own soul journey. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, I love you, I honor you, deeply appreciate you. I ask at this time that you turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to join us at this time. We ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony, that you offer your unconditional service as we chant for all souls as well. So we will chant this source soul song a couple of times. This will also be the song that we'll be chanting a little bit later today <clears throat> in our 15 minutes uh, that is part of the two times 15 minutes a day. And I'll walk you through this practice if you're new. For all those that know this song, please jo join with me. For all those that don't, receive the blessing. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in her ling. Oh, I run, run, Wang Ling, her mushershang, 
，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in the rain. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang Ling Rong, her musher shang, shang I ping on a she, shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, for those that are new, that is called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. <clears throat> There's a beautiful history behind it. No time to go into that history today, but it is a song that carries significant power and frequency, healing frequency. And it is the suggested mantra song that is used for 15 minutes of service to serve others. We'll be using it in a little while. <clears throat> so I wanted to start by offering a flow uh, regarding the significance of this last weekend with the holidays and what we can do. Because uh, on the 21st, I did a flow from the soul of winter solstice and summer solstice came along. I asked for the soul of winter solstice, summer solstice came also. They both had a nice message, beautiful message. And if you missed that, uh, above my video is links to the previous videos. And you can go back to the one on the 21st <coughs> and uh, watch that again. But the, the flows um, were relative to the change of year. And so I'm going to do a flow again now to set the stage energetically for the remainder of the is a 21 day practice so that we can use this time to to really solidify wherever the blockage areas are in our life okay so <clears throat> give me a moment while i connect and then i will share to the soul of this last special weekend the soul of the christmas holidays the soul of this special time of year including the winter solstice the soul of the overall movement, energetic patterns and movements for each and every one of us, and the wisdom that can best be garnered at this time from this time of year, this shift in life pattern, and this specific 21-day practice that we are doing to self-heal. Please offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights that can assist all of us the most at this time. Thank you. So Guanyin has come. Dear ones, this is Lingwei Shangshi. Some of you know me as Guanyin. Lingwei Shangshi is a name that I have received as a heavenly. 
upliftment. It stands for Saint Soul Intelligence Servant. I came to you today to remind you of the very specific and special times that we are in. There is rarely a human on the planet today that is not going through significant transformation. There is upliftment and upheaval in every aspect of the word in every area of life. For those that have calmness, you are very blessed. This means that either you are already a spiritual being in alignment with your soul and its journey, or you have yet to be awakened. In either case, please know that the world is going through a shift. This shift has to do with the light returning to this planet. That is my calling. That is my choice to serve in the highest levels to bring this light. This practice, this 21 days that you are doing, is unique in that it is focusing on service to others. As part of the emissary of light that is bringing forth this major change on this plane, it is important to understand that this message of service to others first is not just a one-off, one-time kind of experience. For those that make this at the forefront of their thoughts, words, and actions, they are the meek, so to speak and they shall inherit the earth, so to speak. It is this kind of understanding when put forth in a con consistent and daily application that brings forth the healing of every aspect of your life. Some of those doing this have requested for healing from emotions, some for special relationships, others for their finances, and still others for their physical suffering. Regardless of the request, there are uh, reasons for your suffering. And as you know, that is karmic in nature. It is the service to others, especially the service to others, that will cause the greatest and fastest release of these and all blockages you discover in your life. One great mistake that is often made is a belief that there is no time for such a thing as service. But in fact, as you will learn today, that service can be offered at all times by conscious awareness, by inviting others in the soul world and in the physical world to chant with you, because it is the group energy, the whole, the entirety of all, the oneness, that truly brings the greatest benefits to all and it is in your calling to all at the same time that the greatest healing can occur you will understand more as you practice more but do know that this time this season this year and this life are a culmination of all time to bring forth the light side in its highest and most ultimate presence and as a result you are all purifying this is not uh, unpleasant as you wish to believe this is the greatest opportunity of all lifetimes and my encouragement to each and every one of you is to embrace <coughs> this opportunity to serve more and to realize your birthright this is my greatest message to you at this time. This is Kuan Yin. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuan Yin. So Ling Wei Sheng Shi is uh, the name she goes by. Saint Soul Intelligence Servant. That's some very high level intelligence there. So I want to acknowledge and welcome those else who have joined us. So welcome, uh, Pamela. 
Welcome Cheryl Healing Ray. Welcome Odelia. And welcome Joanne. Welcome Shelly Denny. Good to see you back in Hawaii, Shelly. Welcome Lisa. And Devorka and daughter, welcome. Welcome Brooke Bennett. Welcome uh, Sarah Carvel. <clears throat> Anyone else I have not acknowledged you, obviously, uh, as, as my teacher would say, more virtue to you. So this message speaks of the very special time that we are moving into. And from my own personal experience, what I've discovered is that <clears throat> it, it can be pretty hectic. It can be pretty difficult. Basically, everything just feels so much more overwhelming. It doesn't matter what it is. It just feels like a lot more than it normally would. And a lot of it has to do with um, our sensitivities. A lot of it has to do with our intuitional nature. Our intuition is often very accurate, but our mind wants to believe it's right. And so we have this resistance at the, uh, at the intuitional level. <clears throat> the mind says, do it like this. And our intuition says, not the right way to go. And of course, there is resistance. And so part of this um, era that we're moving into is to become more aware. An intuition is another word for your soul. Your soul uh, has a journey. It has an intention. It has a path. It didn't come in here for you to play video games or watch your favorite dramas or go through all of the suffering you've been going through. That's not why it came here. It came here to clear up its spiritual debts, to create as much virtue as possible, to realign its journey to the heart of the divine as, as best as possible. And it has no intention or desire to bring suffering to you. <clears throat> it has only a desire to support you. And it does so through what you would term intuition. But in fact, it is, it is saying, don't go this way. This is not the right choice. Yes, this person is good. No, this person is not good. And it's important that we start to listen to our, our soul a lot more as it will assist us tremendously moving forward. Our spiritual journey is the single most important thing in this life. Uh, my teacher, Dr. Master Shah, he has a spiritual teacher and father named Master Guo. And one of the teachings that Master Guo gave him was that a life not sent, spent uh, expanding your spiritual journey, aligning your heart to the divine, is a life wasted. Wasted. How many people do you know or have heard about <clears throat> that make it to the end of their life and they're sitting on their deathbed and they're, they're saying, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I would have changed this, 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 that. And so no one's saying it's easy. But when you're aware that this very special times they're, they're bringing up a lot of the stuff to be cleared. Soul wisdom, the wisdom that Dr. Master Shah brings to us is the opportunity to transform that as quickly as possible. Now we use the four powers for this. Body power, where we place our hands is where energy flows. Mind power, which is creative visualization. Sound power, which is the mantra that we will be chanting today. <clears throat> and um, soul power. Soul power is called saying hello. And there, as you... If you were not aware, when you first came in, one of the things I did was I called forth all of the holy beings. I asked Jesus and Mother Mary and all the Buddhas. I asked them all to come. These are what's called outside souls. Then they have what's called inside souls. Inside souls are everything that's inside of us. Uh, the souls of, of our organs, our systems, our cells, our brain, our, our energy centers. And they all have an aspect of the divine in them or a spirit of divine in them. Therefore, they have a soul. And their purpose, no different than ours, is to expand and become closer to the divine. In other words, every soul has an intention, which is to return to the heart of the divine, to um, elevate itself, its soul standing. And so when we connect to our inner souls as well as the outer souls, we have the highest propensity of success to clear our blockages. Then Master Shah teaches us that by chanting, if we choose to serve others with our chanting, we get tremendous benefits. Uh, this is day four, day five. I released a secret, which was what happens when we chant for others. And there were three things that happen. The first one is that those souls that we chant for, those souls that we chant for are so very, very grateful that they offer us their gratitude, their appreciation, the souls do. The individuals that are suffering from the same neck pain you're suffering from, they don't know why their neck feels better when you're chanting for them 10,000 miles away. You don't even know who they are. But because you're unconditionally chanting for others, for whatever condition you have, their soul instantly knows. Their soul 
says thank you with gratitude. That's called virtue, good karma. So their virtue is then deposited into your checking account in heaven, your Akashic records. And that virtue helps to build up and clear off your spiritual debt. Well, that's one thing that's happening. Another thing that's happening is that all of the holy beings that have come, why are they holy beings? They're holy beings because they serve. That's why they are called saints. That's why they are called Buddhas. They're at that level, that soul standing, because they got there through selfless service. Do you think that stops when they're on the other side? No. They're, the moment you call them, they come. They want to serve. They wish they could be called more so they can serve more. And when they serve along with you, chanting to serve others, they receive virtue from heaven and they also pass on that virtue to you. And so that's a second source of virtue that is received in your Akashic records in heaven that will assist you to self-clear your spiritual debt. The third is from the divine himself. The divine says, ah, oh, my beautiful son, my beautiful daughter, they're chanting to serve others. I will give them some virtue. And so these three different sources of virtue uh, come from selfless, unconditional service. Now, this doesn't mean we all have to jump up and go down to the soup kitchen to help. We should when we can. But it means that we can serve from where we're at. Because one of the wisdom teachings that Dr. Master Shah has brought to us is that everyone and everything has a soul. And that we can heal at the level of soul. We are all from the same source and oneness from the beginning. So why can't we call all those souls and offer service in one position? So we are going to do that today, but know that this wisdom applies after you leave, when you're driving the car, when you're walking your dog. No matter what you're doing, you can be serving by chanting. Now the reason we chose the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony is because it carries a very high frequency. If we were chanting a Metallica song, a heavy metal head banging song, it would not carry the same frequency. It's highly unlikely it would bring healing. The source soul song of love, peace, and harmony is sung in 28 languages, more than that, but we'll say 28 because that's how many is listed on the PDF that Kristen put in this chat box. So if you're wondering this, what this source soul song is, just look through the chat boxes. You'll see Kristen Rojas has placed the multilingual PDF, the link to the, to the YouTube, the download link to the MP3, where you can download the music. But this source soul song has a, a long history many hundreds of videos of people saying I chanted it and this miracle occurred. Why? Because it has a soul stand no different than you or me. And so <clears throat> I know that my phone and my wireless signal is messed up right now so I'm clearing the wireless signal for enabling right now. So I'm just kidding. Okay. At least once a, at least once a show, the, the phone stops on me, especially when I start going to the higher frequency information. So I'll back up a second. The source soul song of love, peace, and harmony carries an extraordinarily high frequency. Just talking about it causes this phone in my, in my wireless signal to hit hop, skip, and jump. And so there are hundreds of stories, uh, videos, and, and testimonials of people who have sung this and one gentleman right here in Hawaii, he just started coming to our center, knew very little about the Source Soul Song, um, and went over to this big island where his brother had had a stroke, and, and he was crying at his bedside, and he started uh, singing. He asked the soul, he said, Dear the soul world, dear Master Shah, dear whoever can come, Jesus, please come. Um, as I chant love, peace, harmony, please help my brother. And the doctors were walking into the room, and... Um, they were talking about how this person had lost all usage in his arms. There was no, no ability to, to move anything. And as he was chanting, the fingers started moving. By the next day, he was fully awake. The doctors were like, it's a miracle. There's no question about it. That's the nature of, of the power of frequency when you're working with the higher level frequencies. So we're going to chant this Source Soul Song today. Um, and I appreciate all those that are veterans. They know this information. So uh, this is for all those that might see this at a later time. So thank you for going with me on that dissertation on this explanation. So as we do this, we're going to serve others. So for those that are familiar, choose the same area or condition that you've already been suffering from so that you can, after 21 days, 
really measure that resultant difference. For those that are new, newer, choose uh, the area that you'd like to transform. Now we're doing this for 21 days. If you just came in, you go 21 days from today. What are you doing for 21 days? You're going to do a forgiveness practice, which I'll walk you through twice a day, five minutes, twice a day. And you're going to chant this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony for 15 minutes. And you're going to do that twice a day. And in both cases, you're going to be offering the service to others. <clears throat> so you choose an area. If you have migraines and nothing's worked, choose to offer service to help others for the condition of migraines. If you have relationship blockages with dad, no matter what you do, he doesn't love you. Choose to bless others for their relationship blockages with their father. Whatever your one area is, choose that area and stick with it. Because when we do forgiveness around it, you're going to find a significant difference. So I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice. So one thing I want to put a caveat on on the forgiveness is that you do not have to do the same version that I am doing. Um, I'm practiced at this. I'm fluid. Fluid in practice is irrelevant in a forgiveness practice. What is relevant to heaven is authenticity and heart. If you just bring authenticity and heart to the table with your forgiveness practice, you will move mountains. You will remove your blockages so much faster than you thought possible. So as I do the forgiveness practice, just pay attention to the overall intention behind it, okay? So let us do this together. Placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. This is a body mudra, a body posture that assists us to connect heaven into our heart center. <clears throat> Close your eyes. And let us connect. <clears throat> Repeat after me. Dear divine, dear the source, dear the creator of all life, dear all the holy beings that are present, all the heaven saints, heavens, animals, all beings of light, dear my heavens team and my own soul, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, deeply respect you. I ask at this time that you please assist me to self-clear my karmic blockages. I ask that you help me to keep my mind fully and completely on serving others, to take my mind off of what I consider to be my own problems, and allow me to serve others, because there are so many that have the same problems that I have. Continue to repeat, Dear all souls, I love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you. If I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you in this lifetime or in any lifetime, I am beyond, beyond sorry. I deeply, deeply, deeply regret I or my ancestors harming you in any way. I ask that as I chant today to serve others, that you see that I have learned my lessons, that I have grown, that I am dedicated to be of value to other souls instead of harming them. Now think of the area that you wish to transform. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, in this lifetime and all lifetimes, if I have harmed you for the condition of, and then you state it, you know, imbalance in relationship, uh, lying to you, whatever it is that you're suffering from, financial blockages, state that. If I have harmed you for da da da, I deeply, deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. I recognize that I definitely have brought harm to others in this area because I am suffering in this area. And if I have brought this harm to you, then I know exactly how much you have suffered. I deeply and sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. Please, please, please forgive me. 
I invite you to chant with me today to serve others. And I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I wish to offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any time that you have harmed me in this or any lifetime. I now recognize that I may have harmed you first, and that's why you have brought this suffering to me in this lifetime. And I wish to forgive you unconditionally. Thank you. And so we invite all souls in all universes to join us in chanting love, peace, and harmony at this time. So again, for those that are new to these words, just scroll through. You'll see the words on the PDF form. Um, you can also at a later time download the MP3. And uh, Kristen posted the words just in, in the chat boxes. <clears throat> You're welcome to simply close your eyes and chant to serve others. Now the visualization, I want you to imagine there's probably millions of people that have the same suffering that you come today with. They might have suffered from relationship issues, pain, whatever it is. See those millions of people right in front of you now in your mind's eye. Millions of souls right out in front of you having the same suffering. Accordion them up one behind the other. And then have them condensed down to that one soul right in front of you. That one soul represents all of the millions. When you chant and offer your love, peace, and harmony, chant to serve those million souls. Visualize the golden light in their area of suffering, which is the same area as your suffering. If it's heart-related, finances-related, whatever it is that's not obvious, choose the heart center. Visualize golden light in that area and let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in Erling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wong, ling, rung, her musher, shung. Shong, I ping on a sit. Shong, I Ping on a sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Remember, you are serving others. Serve with all your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, Join hearts 
and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. O I wash in her ling. O I run run ling. Wang ling rung er mu shi sheng. Shuang I ping on a xie. Shuang I ping on. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Continue to serve with all your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace. And harmony. Dear the soul of the painting behind me, the Kai Gon blessings into this painting. And you please radiate your light to everybody on the line to offer blessings to assist with this healing as appropriate. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang ling rung, her mushu shang. Shuang I ping on a she. Shuang I ping on a 
是。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> love, peace. And harmony. Continue to sing silently, visualizing golden light entering millions of people. They all come together in that one body, but all million are receiving the blessings for the same area that you were suffering from. Your blessings is to assist them with all your love. Continue to chant. I will offer some third eye images at this time. Kuan Yin has subdivided her soul and went to each of you. She is also standing in front of the one that represents the million. She has spread out her 1,000 hands and she is offering blessings in the most appropriate way to these souls. Most of her actions are specific to releasing the negative patterns that have caused them to bring forth the conditions that they suffer from. There are literally trillions of beings chanting along with us today and they are creating a frequency from their chorus this frequency looks like champagne bubbles of light coursing through these millions upon millions of souls these trillions of beings serving are very very grateful for this calling today. They are one voice. They are oneness. As they chant in one voice and in oneness, they are bringing that message in these light bubbles that are coursing through the millions of bodies. Your voice is one of the trillions. Your voice is of great assistance. There is Akashic record clearing that is occurring. For each of these beings that are receiving, they are bowing down to heaven, to the trillions of beings that are offering the blessings. They are asking that the virtue they receive be shared and distributed to others that have the same suffering. And these souls are the most wise as they recognize the nature of this service. There is heaven's dragons that have many helpers and they are flying around assisting in whatever way is needed. There are quite a few heaven's animals that are also assisting with the removal of many, many deep heart center blockages. There are cages being unlocked, barbed wire being snipped. The metal is breaking and falling away, so to speak. For some of you, this will feel like the first breath of fresh air you have felt in a while. For others, it will appear like when you get back to work and that coworker is no longer so unpleasant towards you. And still others, it will be that long-term suffering in relationship will feel less difficult. Let us continue to chant five more minutes. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, 
So for those that came in a little bit later, I encourage you to watch, uh, go back and watch, because today we received a huge um, a message from beloved Quan Yin. And uh, Master Janine uh, was kind enough to have typed it out and placed it in the chat box so you can read it again or watch it. Um, this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony is extraordinarily powerful. Please share any uh, experiences that you might have had, uh, any insights that you might have had while doing this practice, any um, anything you might have learned when I went through the forgiveness practice as well. Uh, also share what this last eight days have been like for you. It's very important that you acknowledge the ups and the downs. Joanne, I'd like to hear how you're doing since you received that soul operation a couple of days ago. See if your lower back is uh, doing better or about the same. Let me know what's going on there. And anyone else, uh, anything you'd like to share, please do. I did see a comment uh, from um, Cheryl Healing Ray. She says the tips of her fingers on her right hand uh, began to feel as if they were uh, touching a hot flame and feeling blistered when calling upon the Kaigong blessing in the painting behind me. I called, I called Kuan Yin, Happy Buddha, and uh, Shakyamuni Fo. Um, to to please come at this time as um, this this painting behind me has been blessed and so uh, they immediately came to you as you heard through the third eye reading and so uh, welcome Jar and Teresa says she got uh, really really hot all over is what I think she said instead of got yeah yeah I'm sweating a little bit here as well. Um, I've got a fan on me, but it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> so welcome, Jennifer. Um, and Joanne, if you're awake, let me know uh, what your experience has been since you received the soul operation. I wanted to remind everybody that 
<clears throat> as a Christmas, New Year's um, blessing opportunity. Um, I am offering a soul operation and a 10 minute divine master healer teacher healer soul blessing. The divine master healer teacher soul is one level below the divine channel uh, level of blessing, the very high level of blessing. And um, I don't use it very often. And I'll offer that 10 minute blessing along with the soul operation. Now, each normally has an honor fee of $75, and I'm offering both for the one honor fee of $75. Um, so it's excellent for, for example, this specific condition you chose. Uh, it can be really good for things like a relationship blockage, a heart center blockage, an emotional blockage, fear, anxiety, um, things of that nature. It can be very valuable for. Um, obviously, pain. <clears throat> and so, um, so I encourage you to uh, contact me if you have any questions about that healing blessing. Uh, again, I'll repeat because I saw the video skipping a little bit. Um, soul operation and a blessing, a 10-minute blessing using one of my highest healing treasures combined. Normal honor fee would be 150, and it's half that. And that would be between now and the end of this year. Uh, so if you know of anybody, a pet, a loved one, a child, it's excellent for intelligence, for example. You can receive a blessing for their heart and brain uh, with those two different treasures, and you can receive a significant value for that. So it's good for almost any condition. Uh, I see some comments. I'm going to read those. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing the video. Janet says she feels great. Nikki Davis says she felt the same type of feeling in her right hand, a fiery in the fingertips. And CJ says, so blessed. She feels goosebumps and cold as if someone is embracing me. Visions of divine mercy. Tearful. Thank you so much. Yeah, excellent. Your third eye is increasing more and more, CG. Thank you for sharing that, CJ. And uh, cold energy, by the way, <clears throat> yeah, often is re representative of old energy. So sometimes we feel cold coming to the top of the surface, uh, and then it's gone. Um, that's old energy leaving. So welcome, Giles. And so um, <clears throat> we're wrapping up the end of this hour. So I invite you all to contact me if you have any questions. Um, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger. My, my email is asoulhealer at yahoo.com. That's soul, like everything has a soul, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. And so you can contact me uh, for anything that you have any questions about. And um, please, if you're part of the 21-day uh, challenge to heal yourself by serving others, make sure you chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, Harmony twice a day, 15 minutes each, and you do a forgiveness practice about five minutes each, twice a day as well. More is always better. Don't limit yourself to that. But always remember to offer the service for others for that condition. Always remember, invite all the souls to chant with you. The more souls that come, the better. Okay? And a little internal secret, remember, you have inner souls as well. So if it's a blockage in the heart center, dear all the souls that make up my heart center, please chant to serve others for their emotional blockage. Uh, dear all the souls in my neck, maybe that's the area you're chanting for. Uh, all the cells, all the muscles, ligaments, joint souls, please chant to serve others that have neck pain. So this is a great way to serve using inner souls and outer souls, okay? I see a few more comments. Uh, you're all very welcome, and sorry if I didn't acknowledge you earlier. Uh, I didn't see your names pop up. Welcome, Rashna. Welcome, Giles. Welcome, Andre. Uh, welcome, Suki. And so this brings us to the end of this service. Please watch the whole thing if, in this entirety if you haven't already. Um, I will see you tomorrow, same time. Tomorrow will be, be day nine. Continue to work towards self-clearing your blockage. I suspect that if you're consistent, by the time we get to the 21st day, you will have had significant movement to that blockage. So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song to all the holy beings. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you, love you, love you. We'll see you tomorrow.